everybody it's Cindy that crafting lady welcome to my channel if this is your first time here and welcome back if you're returning thank you so much if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would appreciate you doing so it helps my channel grow and if you click the bell icon um, you'll be notified when I upload new videos today's video is a challenge a DIY stocking challenge hosted by Sonia the domestic diva DIY I will link her channel and the playlist to this challenge in the description box below. So make sure that you go on over to the playlist and check out all the wonderful contributors to it. And check out Sonia, the Domestic Diva DIY. Well, since we're sitting in my craft room, let's get crafting. Okay, so as I said, this is a DIY stocking challenge. Um, but I'm going to make some stocking ornaments. So I have some wool... Um, scraps that um, I've had hanging around because I do rug hooking and this is just some of the scraps and I thought they would make some cute little stocking ornaments so I have one scrap here I traced out um, just a stocking shape on a piece of cardboard and cut it out so I could use it as a template and we're gonna put it on the back here now I'm using um, this pen it's called um, a Frixon color erasable marker well it's not only erasable, but when you put it on fabric, if you want to take it off the fabric, all you have to do is iron it, and it irons right away. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it's kind of light, but they make all different colors. But this works out pretty well for me. I can see what's going on just to cut a basic stocking shape. So as I said, it's really hard for you, to, for the camera to pick it up, but I can see it. So just going to cut on my lines and if any of it hangs out around, you know, if I don't um, get it all with the scissors, you can just run an iron over it and it'll go away. Just cutting around that outline. And there we go, we have a stocking shape. So we have our stocking shape. This is the back. The back has got kind of like a woven fabric, and on the front it's kind of fuzzy, and I really kind of like that. So we're going to do that, and now we need to give our stocking a cuff. So I have a little bit of this um, rusty burgundy color um, wool, so I'm just going to take a little piece off of it. And for this, I'm going to use um, some fabric tack. Um, this works amazing when with um, fabric. It sets pretty quickly, um, but it does give you a little bit of working time. Set that on there. Yep, I know I made it too big. Now you want to push it in, but you don't want to press too hard. You don't want it, the fabric tack, the glue, to come through the other side. So now I'm just going to go around and trim off my excess. I guess I could have um, cut it exact so I didn't have any waste. But this is not really waste because I will use it in future projects. I will save those. So now we have a little cuff on our stocking. Well, we need something to hang it by. So I have some uh, Dollar Tree jute. And I'm just going to take an inch or so, probably two, two and a half inches and I am going to put that right under here and as you can see I still have time to work with it with the fabric tack so, put a little bit more in there to hold that jute and set it right into where we put that there now we have our little hanger so there's our stocking. Now tell me that wasn't a quick DIY. But that's not the end of it. We have to decorate our stocking. So you can use, um, what are these, pom-poms. I've got some cording. Um, you can use ribbon. Um, I've got some flowers and some more wool and maybe some little um, balls that I got off of one of the Dollar Tree picks. 
So I'm going to show you how I made my leaf out of some scrap wool. Boy, do I have a lot of this, huh? So I just folded this in half like that. And this is the fold side. That's the cut side. Actually, I want to hold it this way because I want to go up. No, I do want to do it this way. I don't know what I'm doing. And just go like that and make a leaf shape. And there you go. That was that easy to cut out a leaf shape. And now I have two little leaves for my stocking. Now, um, I'm going to use fabric tack on these. So I'm going to turn them over. And then put them back right where I want them on my stocking. Because this is the fun part. This is the part where you get to say, oh, this is how I want it to look. And this is how I think it should be. So... If you want it differently, then you do it differently. They're your crafts. So I think I want that right there. And we'll turn the other leaf over and I'm going to put it just like that on top. And as I said, just push it into the fabric, but not too, um, it's not too much. You don't want it to um, seep through. Now I have this little um, poinsettia flower that I took off of another project, or uh, well, off of a pick from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use my Sure Bonder for this. Um, sure Bonder, you know, got to use it. Stick with the best. And then I'm going to put my little flower right there. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the burgundy little bubbles in the middle. No, nope, I think I want the white. So again, we're going to add just a little bit more glue. And I'm going to put three of these little berries from a Dollar Tree pick right in the middle. And that's it. My stocking is decorated. How quick and easy is this project? You could do this with kids. Um, it would be so much fun to do with kids because you know how creative they can get. So, this wasn't the only one that I did, but they're all the same basic um, construction. Let's move all this stuff out of the way so you can see all the ones that I made. I got this one. I made another one using some of those white berries and just some leaves off of one of the picks. This one was really simple. Oh, and you can see I reversed some of them, so they're not all going in the same direction. And this one I put some of the green fabric up top. This one I did both. And just a bow. I mean, simple as that. And then I have another one here that has one of these green leaves that I made and some pom-poms. And then this one here is just one with the green at the top. And I used some of that um, baker's twine that I got from the Dollar Tree and some little jingle bells. So these are just some ideas of what you could do to um, make your own stockings and hang them on your tree. Or you could give them as gifts. You could take some puffy paint and write people's names at the top if you wanted to make them as like um, place settings for your Christmas dinner table. And then they have something to take home, like a little um, hostess gift. But you can get as um, intricate with your decorations or as simple with your decorations as you would like. Again, these are your crafts. Do them your way. So I hope you enjoyed this little video that for my DIY stocking challenge, um, the Sonia the Domestic Diva has hosted for us. Check out her channel. Check out the playlist. They're both going to be listed down below in the description box. And if you liked this video, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, if you could, I would appreciate it. Click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And until next video, live fully, love deeply, learn something new every day. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.